Good morning, Stamping Friends. How is everyone doing today? Thanks for joining me. In case you're new here, my name is Lori Heiling and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I love what I do. So today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Normally I have my project, you know, kind of setting off and it's all finished and I copy it as I do my video. But this one I'm gonna kind of create as I go along. So I don't have the card to show you right now, but I'm hoping in my head turns out <laughs> in real life because you know how sometimes that goes. You have this great idea in your head and you make it and it's a disaster. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. But the stamp set I want to use today is Pampered Pets. This one has been super popular. In fact, it was on back order, but I'm pretty sure it's back in the shop. I think it was July 13th it was supposed to be back. So isn't that cute? Everyone um, has a connection to a pet, whether you have one or not, or a friend or family does. So this is just a great um, must-have set for your for baby friends. And then the paper I'm gonna use is called Playful Pets, and it comes in 12 by 12 sheets, and aren't these fun? There's um, the pets on here and some sentiments and um, kind of like solids here. So it was a real fun set to work with. And then these are all the coordinating colors that go with it. All right, a couple other things. Um, we're gonna be using the Playful Pet Trinkets, and these are adorable. They're like little charms with a hook on, and there's a bone and a little heart and um those were really fun and then the ribbons are yummy there's a black and white baker's twine and then this one's a nice little sheer red with dashes in um, real red ribbon all right for starters let's get our card base this is eight and a half by five and a half and i scored it in half on the long side which would be at four and a quarter and then i ran it through my embossing machine with a new embossing folder called Tasteful Textile. It's really nice. It's it's like a one step above the Subtles. Subtles is even more subtle than this, but it does have just kind of a fabric look to it. So I thought that was fun. Then I took the striped paper and, oh gosh, I shouldn't have punched this, but um, I used the triple banner punch, which looks like this. And um, I just cut it to one and a half inches wide by four and a quarter inches long and you just stick it right in there and punch it and then you don't have to worry about your banner being lopsided it punches it right smack in the middle back before we had that punch oh it was so hard for me to try to trim that even and i kept trying again trying again and then pretty soon this long a piece turned into like a banner that <laughs> that big because i kept trying again to get it um, even so let's just put some adhesive on the back and we'll put this right at the top oh, about like that that looks good then I cut a um, uh, let's see what should I do next let's do this this is from layering circles which is a great set to have there's so many dies in here and they all coordinate with um, you know, the, the scallops have a straight edge that fit nicely in there for layering. And this is about the two and a half inch size one. And let me get my pick tool. Um, and we'll just put some dimensionals on the back because I know I want this one to pop. All right, and this is a pretty basic layout, but it's just fun and I, a lot of times I'll take previous layouts I've used and um, just put new product with it, new stamps and paper, and it looks like a whole new card, even though it's a uh, um, layout I may have used before. I don't think I used this one before, but it's pretty standard. All right, the next thing we're going to do is build the little dog on there. If you're more of a cat lover, then choose the cat stamp. Or if you don't have the stamps yet, you can always just cut out the pet images from all that paper. There's so many different combinations. And I just gotta lean forward to make sure I get them in the middle again. And this, I believe, is a schnauzer, is that right? I was always a Yorkie girl. I had a little Yorkie. All right, let me grab all the blends. I picked colors that would go well. When I Googled Yorkie, I saw that he had a little bit more of a brown face. I know in the catalog they show up more of gray but it really doesn't matter so I I'm using light crumb cake 
and then dark and light smoky slate. This one's basic black dark and then real red, the bright. All right, so I'll start with this little snout here and let's just do light crumb cake here. And uh, let's go down to his beard too a little bit. All right, I just love blends because they live up to their name. They definitely are great for blending. And remember the tips have a kind of a painted edge, which is what I'm using now. It covers up a larger space. And then there's a smaller end, the firm, for really tiny places. However, sometimes I still use this big one because look at how chiseled that is at the end. It's just a really fine tip. All right, so I'm just gonna color him solid. And then we're gonna do a little bit of shading. So um, it doesn't have to be perfect when you color because these are blends and they will blend together. Then I'm gonna take the dark smoky slate and I usually just try to follow the lines that are already made. That makes it easy because I'm definitely not an artist. And um, so I have to cheat and go by the lines that they already gave me. Let's make his tail dark. Totally winging this here. All right, then sometimes it just has to soak a little bit for it to blend. But I usually go back one more time and just kind of go on that line again. And um, just kind of like that. Basically, we just want shading here. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is make his nose. That's pretty obvious, so we'll just do dark black for that. And one more bit of shading. I wanna go back in where the gray met the crumb cake and just blend that a little bit better. All right, and then let me take the crumb cake again. There we go. See how that comes together? Kind of a taupey gray there. Perfect. All right. Now, I do want to make his color red. You might not even have to do this step because of what I'm going to do next, but I did in case you can see through it. We have these really cool real red gemstones, <clears throat> and I want to bling this up. We're going to make this a girl dog, and let's just put three little gems here. we got to snazz up this dog a little bit. There we go. That'd be fun at Christmas too, huh? All right, we have him done. <clears throat> now, we're just gonna use regular snail. We already popped up the black one, so let's just do this one regular. And just center that right on the scallop circle. All right, that's probably the part that takes the longest here on this card. The next thing I'm gonna do is the sentiment, and I just cut a rectangle from the um, stitch rectangle dies. And this is a nice little set to have too. They have all different shapes. They have skinny, long rectangles and short, fat ones. They have every combination. If you can't find a rectangle with whatever you're using, then we're in trouble. But there's so many to choose from in that set. All right, I'm gonna lean in again so I can get this centered. Count my gray hairs for me. <laughs> all right, I hope your day is a real treat. And for sure, this one calls for dimensionals. So let's just put a couple on here and make it pop up. We're getting closer. I like how it's turning out. I guess if I hated it, well, no, I guess I couldn't. <laughs> I was going to say if I hated this card, I wouldn't have to post it. But all right, let's go right, I don't know, about right here. All right, now it's just missing a little bit more embellishment. So what I did was I, well, I already tied this, but I took the real red ribbon and I just tied a bow and I'm gonna make these a little bit straighter so they're even. So let's snip the bottoms of this and we're gonna put this, mm, let's see. Let me create it first. So this is the bottom one, the real red. Then we are gonna take the baker's twine. And um, this is really thin. However, when I was seeing if this would work, I did cheat and did this before because I wanted to make sure this part would work. So I wanna um, string this in here, but you, 
you'll find that as you start using this, the end will fray a little bit and it was hard for me to get that in. So I thought, oh good, I'll show you a little technique. I'm sure you already know this, but this is just a dental flosser and it's kind of like an oversized needle. I use this all the time. It's right by my computer so I can, or my desk area. So just pull it through and that way you don't have to fight with this. All right, so once that's through, all we're gonna do now is tie a bow. You don't even have to tie it one time first. Just make your loops like this, one on each side. Tie the bow, and the nice thing about this ribbon is, you know how some ribbons have a, a right side and a wrong side, and then you keep fiddling with it, trying to get both right sides to be forward? Because this and the red um, don't have front and back, it doesn't matter how it lays, so you can just do whatever. And then let's trim these down a little bit. And now I want to um, use a glue dot and I'm gonna put this right smack on top of the red one. I like that they're different, um, they're different um, dimensions, you know, like this is about an eighth, but Baker's twine is even thinner. And let's just put that right on top like that. Now I can do my placement better. I wanted to see if I should put it on the dog or down here. I don't know, maybe right in between. Let's try that. Because um, the bow takes up a little bit more area, but you can play around with that and see what your eye desires. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna go right in between. All right. Okay, there you go, isn't that cute? Hope your day is a real treat. I think I like how it turned out. Okay, that was pretty brave of me because normally I have, I have to have all my ducks lined up in a row before I go ahead and share with you. But this was a really fun set. And um, if you want to order any products, I encourage you to go to my website, which is Confessions of a Stamping Addict. And I will put the link in my Facebook and blog posts so that you can just one click and find it. And then this is the host code that I would love if you used it. Well, thank you so much for letting me share this project with you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. All right, you take care. Bye-bye.